Hi, right, this is Anil. In this video, I'll show you how to create a Spring MVC project. To create some Spring MVC project, first we have to configure a .xml with the dispatcher servlet. Here we have configured this using org dot Spring Framework web dot servlet dot dispatcher servlet, and we have configured a URL pattern also. Whenever a request comes with this URL pattern, the request will be sent to dispatcher servlet and dispatcher servlet will uh, take the appropriate controller class and forward the request to the controller and we have to configure web application context and the application context here dispatcher iphone servlet.xml contains web application context here we are mentioning all web related uh, components like a controller and view resolvers here we are mentioning the application context uh, this contains business logic components like DOS and uh, service objects. And we have to configure controllers, V resolvers uh, in the application context that we have already done here. We have configured controllers as well as V resolvers. And we have to configure business logic pins like DOS and service pins uh, that also we have configured here. We have registration DAO, login DAO, login service, uh, and we have all we have also configured uh, Hibernate. Uh, this is uh, we are integrating the Spring with Hibernate, so we are using local session factory bean. Spring pr will provide local session factory bean. For that, we need to pass data source and Hibernate properties like uh, Oracle. Uh, if you are using Oracle, you have to tell the dialect uh, like Oracle dialect, and we are also passing uh, Hibernate mapping files that is there in DO package here. And here we are mapping table name, user table with the user object. And we have to create the views. Here we have already created the views called index.jsp. Here we have login link and logout link. Here we got the index login page and we got the login link. If I click the login page and it goes to the request will go to the dispatcher servlet. Request will go to the dispatcher servlet because this extension, the URL pattern is dot htm. Uh, there is a dispatcher servlet will uh, check this application context and uh, here we have mapper controller class name handler mapping. This handler mapping uh, controller class name handler mapping take this URL and it matches with the uh, it searches with the controller whose name begin with uh, login. Uh, here we have already have login controller and it will select this login controller and forward the request to login controller. Uh, because uh, this request is a get request here and the login controller will see here we have login controller if it is a get request it simply uh, shows the login.jsp page this is called login.jsp page this login.jsp page contains a command class called user and we have username password all those things uh, like here whenever we enter this uh, username and the password and post the form it again goes to login controller it again goes to login controller this time it executes the on submit method so whatever we have entered username password that will be set into the command object so we can get that command object and we can validate that uh, user in the database here we have login service this controller is uh, injected with the login service and this login service have login validation DAO. Spring will inject this also as we have mentioned in the application context.xml. And using login validation DAO, uh, it hits the database and get the user. If the user is valid and the login controller get this here, login controller get the result. And if a user is valid, it sets the user in the response, user in the session scope, and it will return the response. Here, we name we are mentioning main page, so 
user will be shown main dot jsp if it is not valid it will uh, the user will be shown the login page again thanks for watching